Okay, let's set up Google Authentication for our Superbase project. You'll need a, an account at Google Cloud Platform. Um, so we'll start by going here to console.cloud.google.com. This should take you to the Getting Started page. We're going to click on Select a Project at the top left. If you already have a project, just go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to click on New Project. Fill out our app information. In this case, it's called As a Bab. And your organization, your location. Go ahead and hit Create. This can take uh, a couple of minutes. Um, we'll just wait for it to complete. I'm going to select the project. It should bring us to the dashboard of our new project. Great. Now there's a search bar at the top right. We're going to click in the search bar and search for OAuth. O A. U T H. And then we're going to click on OAuth consent screen from the list. On the OAuth consent screen, uh, select external down here. And then uh, click create. So we're going to set up a set of external OAuth keys. App registration page, we're going to fill out our app information. So, here uh, just fill out stuff that is required um, app name again, uh, support email. Let's see, this is just a choice. Okay, you can put in your app logo, app domain, other authorized domains, and then we'll go ahead uh, developer contact address. Hit save and continue here. Okay, now we're going to go to credentials on the left. Take us to the credentials page. This is uh, the create OAuth client ID page. We're going to select our application type. Um, I'm going to use web application. Um, typically, we're going to use web application even uh, if we're going to end up compiling for one of the, the mobile platforms. The most important part here is our, oh, our redirect URI. Uh, it's really important that we get this right. So let's go over to Superbase, select our project. In this case, we've already got a Superbase project set up. We're going to go down to Settings, and then API. And this is your API URL for our Superbase project. Right here is our project ID, if you've ever, if you've ever asked for that. All we want to do is copy this API URL and then take this back into Google and paste this here. Um, now that's only part of it. We always have to add slash A-U-T-H slash V1 slash callback to the end to get our complete uh, URI. So we're going to put this in the authorized redirect URIs box and then hit create. Okay, now we have our OAuth client ID and, uh, and client secrets. This is what we're going to need to put into our dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the client ID to the clipboard, and then we're going to go back to uh, back to Superbase and go over to authentication and settings down at the bottom. Here's where all of our third-party providers live. We're going to go down to Google and enable Google. We're going to paste the client ID right here. Now we're going to go back to uh, back to the Google page and we're going to copy the client secret to the clipboard. Go back to our project. Paste this in the Google client secret section. Scroll up and hit save. So now our project at Superbase is configured with a client ID and a client secret for Google. And now all we have left to do is add the code to our client application. So let's take a look at that. We start by uh, importing the client um, or the create client from the Superbase JS library. And now we need a reference to the Superbase object. To get that we just go to, uh, to our Superbase project we go to API and authentication and this is already filled out for us which is really nice 
We're going to need this uh, client API key for Superbase. This is a public API key, so it's okay for it to live in your code where people might see it. It's just a reference. Uh, it's a public key. And then go back over to the API authentication page and copy your Superbase URL and a, a link to the Superbase object. Copy that to the clipboard. Paste that into your code. Um, and you can get rid of, rid of this process env. That's for Node.js and we're on the client here. We're all set here. And now we just need the code to log in and log out. So I'm going to create two functions. I'm going to say login with Google. And uh, what I typically do here is uh, create login with provider and pass it a variable with the name of the provider. And I can use the same function for many different providers, but we're just doing Google right now. And then we're going to do a function to log out of the application. And now we'll go get this code. And this code is already written for us. If you go back to the Superbase website and uh, go to the documentation and search for auth sign in, once you get to auth sign in, just go down to sign in using third party providers. And this is the code we need right here. We're just going to copy it to the clipboard and paste it into our login. And we're going to change this to Google. And again, if, if this uh, was a generic function you, that you passed a variable, you could just put the variable right here and just call that same function and, uh, from, from, uh, for any provider. And you're going to attach this function to a button you put somewhere that says Google login. Um, or text, whatever you want. And then for the logout function, we're going to go back to the documentation and uh, click down here on sign out. And again, this is literally one line of code. We don't even have to write one line of code. All we have to do is paste it here. And now we have a client application that allows our users to click on a button and log in with Google and log out.